God, they're massive. And just look at the one behind you. <laughs> How old are that bull? Uh, it's mine, I guess. I don't think I could have ever imagined we'd see something like this. It's just incredible. Strict rules govern the hunting here in South Africa's Limpopo province, where only the eldest bulls are in play, meaning hunters must often watch younger, bigger brutes walk away. There's some very serious regulations. One of them being is that the buffalo have to be 12 years or older. The reason for that is buffalo bulls will only start breeding from about 9, 10, up to 12. And to protect the, the genes and to uh, conserve the uh, genetics and everything, we only start hunting them from 12. In that order, we get the bulls out that's not productive anymore and not um, they're ready to be taken off. Aging a bull on the hoof is a hard-earned skill that requires keen assessments of horn length, width and drop, plus the bosses that build up on an aging bull's crown. Just too young, this one right here walking through. Which is very frustrating sometimes because you'll get out there, you'll see hundreds of buffalo, you'll see some of these giant bulls, they're 44, 46, 48 inches in spread. Buffalo that you dream of, problem is they're eight, nine or 10 years old. You're not allowed to shoot them. There's a couple of really old bulls up here on the other side of the riverbed. And there's a lot of you know young bulls that are really promising. Uh, you know, six, seven, eight years old. And then there's uh, some old timers over here. For Brad and Chris Sievers, the quest for a massive, mature Cape buffalo continues. But finding one bigger than Brad's most recent bull will be a tall order indeed. I got a tag that allows me to hunt what they call a trophy Cape buffalo. And that is a buffalo of 12 years and older that's 40 inches or above. There's only four of them given out a year in Timber Vardyford trophy buffalo. I was lucky enough to get it, so it was time for us to go look for the biggest buffalo we could possibly find. Can you see the one on the left? Yeah. Wait for me. OK. Known as Black Death, the Cape Buffalo has earned its brutal moniker one goring, one trampling, one rampage at a time. And with drought ruling Limpopo, these massive beasts have become territorial about water, increasing the danger tenfold. Don't shoot. I'll tell you. Don't shoot. Safety off. Wait. There's a cow behind him. Tell me where. Yeah. Oh, we had lots of cows in there, lots of other young bulls. Any one of those animals can set the herd off. And if they take off, you know, it, it, that's over. Wait. There's nothing behind you right now. Right now. OK. Wait, wait, don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. Wait. Wait. Come. Once again, you make a perfect shot. I mean, you bowled him over. He's yeah. down. He's I'm down. So, I'm so engaged. All right. Down. Unbelievable. Um, Unbelievable. We hammered him. The buffalo ran maybe. 40 yards and uh, collapsed. And again, once again, there's a death bellow. Holy cow, look at the curl on that butt. That is a superb. That is a beautiful bull. Buffalo bull. That's a 15 and a half, 16 inch boss. Yeah. Nice and wide, he's got a massive curl. Wow. Old Aga boy. Whew. But I'd make a hell of a good shot. And it's one of the best buffaloes we've taken in a very, very long time. Unbelievable. I mean, it's, it, it's a dream buffalo. It's everything I ever wanted to hunt over here. Uh, he's going to be fantastic. People just aren't going to believe it, but thanks a lot. Thank you, Mike. I really Thank appreciate it. You.